game. When you play for less than time, because that's the game. And you fucking kill your opposite man. Go in, boys. People say, you know, um, it's only a game. Um, this place is more more to me than that, and um, it has been for a long time. It's helped me through some really tough times. My father played here, obviously my brother's played here, and I'm, I'm playing here now. Fortunate enough, I'm, I've been lucky enough to put the first team shirt on, and I never underestimate what it means to me, to my family, to putting that shirt on. Obviously it means a huge amount. It's the club that I grew up watching. It's the only club I've ever played for. My brother's here, my dad played here. So for me, it's a real special place, and it's one that I want to continue to, to try and help. It's, it's part of my family, it's part of my heritage. I love it, love it to bits, and when I step out of it, I'll miss it massively. Yeah, so you know, other clubs talk about it, you know, being a family, but I don't think all the setups I've been in, there's nothing, there's never been a kind of more of a close-knit family than here. You know, everyone wants to be better and, you know, make Leicester Tigers a great place, and, you know, it does feel really like a big family, really, and that's kind of one of the main reasons why I'd love to stay here for the whole of my career. It does sound cliche, because I know a lot of people go on about Tigers family, but it is that is that sort of mates in the squad, and then you've got a good like fan base around it as well, so there's a lot of support, which is good. So if you are going through whether you're not picked one time or you're being picked and it's a good time with your mates, it's just a good sort of environment to be in. Well, I started when I was 16, I was involved in the local setup. I joined the academy, missed my first year because of some personal issues and mental health, uh, and then the academy kind of brought me back for my second year, and from there I've just progressed into first team rugby here. I started in the academy at 16, um, I think that was in 2010. Had a bit of a rocky, ro rocky start, got injured a couple of times, managed to come through come through the other side quite thankfully. Made my debut for the first team then and then slightly progressed from there. Joined the academy when I was 16. It was full, full time then, so about 10 or 11 of us were all living in a boarding house uh, just up the road. Um, I remember we were trying to do our A-levels at the same time, training before and after school, so it was, it was quite tough. So I used to come to games when I was um, around 12 to 13 with my dad. He started in the, the academy in 2006. At that time it was uh, Graham Roundtree and Neil Back, who were the, the head coaches, two pretty big names to be a coach of, of a 16-year-old lad, so I was pretty uh, scared really. Getting to grow up coming through the academy and training and watching the likes of you know, Ben Young's in my position and, and all the other great players at the club, and George Ford and all the boys and watching them and then coming through the academy and to get into play with them it is massive. Um, I remember my first session uh, coming in to the first team, searched to train and I was very, very nervous but enjoyed it a lot and it was, uh, you know, it was a huge honour to get to train with them. Uh, many guys went on to achieve things not only at Leicester but you know if they didn't quite get through here they certainly went to other clubs and cause if you don't make it here then you know often you do get picked up somewhere else and sort of made, made me into the player and the person that I am today and it's definitely something that I look back on as tough but good times. After a big win against South Sharks momentum is gathering in the Leicester Tigers ranks. The lads still have some big challenges in front of them. This week they play another northern outfit in Yorkshire Carnegie. There will be added pressure though as this game is being played at the Tigers' first team stadium, Welford Road. Some of the messages are really good tonight. <laughs> loads of learnings from Sale, loads and loads. So we'll try to get the, the lads a bit more involved in the um, build-up this week, getting them to have a look at Yorkshire. Yeah, we're always talking to each other, giving each other advice telling each other whether it's on the field, just giving each other little pointers because we all want to get better as a team and as, and as individuals, so we always give each other our pointers. I've seen them kind of grow as kind of people like now, they're a lot more in meetings and stuff like that, they're kind of coming out of the shells and their confidence and because their knowledge of the game is probably up there with some of the lads in the first team now. I'm not going to bore you with so many timings for tomorrow, all right? Key timings, uh, 16.40, all right, that's 4.40, 20 to 5. <laughs> Some stats from sale game, line outs, success was high, quality ball was probably the highest that we've had this year. 
quick release. So that was quite low. We kept them to 27%, even though 48% of their possession was actually in their goal zone, our red zone. Why do you think we had really slow ball? We were in 22 for a lot of the game, so we need a bit of pressure, maybe. Okay, so if we've had eight line breaks and we've scored from four of them. Support them. Yeah. Just work on the floor. Yeah. yeah. When we do make a line break, everyone seems to think, let's get back into shape, but in fact, we want to play on top of teams. So when we played Saints, when we played Wasps, there's a couple of times where we've made a line break and we've actually wanted to play on top of them. We don't need to get back into shape and slow things down, especially when we make a line break because we want to play on top, there's gaps there. I think at every breakdown, just look at is there an opportunity or not, and if there isn't, then feel the field and get line speed. So on that, do you have a call for not going to break down, like a bail call? So if I'm going to break down, and I see I don't need to, if the nine, whoever, someone shouting bail, 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 yeah. do we have a call for that? Cold. So that might come from the nines or anywhere around the breakdown. Do you call cold? Just don't go to it. Do you understand that now? I'm hearing that we scored 50% of the opportunities that we created and we only created eight. So have a think about what that means for the quality of the way that we've attacked. We need to be much more effective in and around the breakdown on our decisions on Jackal. The key points for me, lads, line speed from X, stay square when you're actually going off the line, and to fold, so don't park up on the blind side, don't be lazy, because that's what I've done in the last game, because we were too lazy around the breakdown. Just in between the 22 and the 10, so it's like a 2 and a 3, they don't, they don't come short really. I think if we get in and put that much pressure on them and just sh like shout in their faces, and if we if we close the gap as well, then the, the ball's in that hook a times more. <laughs> if we put that verbal pressure on, like yeah. you said, that they're, they're not going to know the call. If we're louder than yeah. them, they're not going to know the call. Yeah. So they're just going to fuck it up more. If you look at the clips, they set quite high. Um, Wasps were dominant against them as well. So just make sure we set them low and then win space over the mark. Two key points, but we'll start with one of them with a bit of hang on. That's a Don't get bored of the simple things. Play again. <laughs> Obviously we've been at the stadium tomorrow, let's just make sure we're adapting to that, let's make sure we're playing the game and not the occasion. It's still a game of rugby, still playing against 15 boys, just because it's at Welford Road, let's not get away from us, concentrate on us and make sure we're playing the game and not the occasion. It's taken a lot of work, we've not played there for four years. Special place just to walk around sometimes, never mind uh, to get the opportunity to play there and hopefully these boys will, will really appreciate that. Okay, in we come. Starters, let's go through our, our sets and our calls, okay? There we go, spaghetti, that's a lift, mate. To get through the programme, to commit to the programme is, is not easy. And to get to a point where, you know, some of them are in their second farm in two years, that is down to them being, being really diligent with what they're doing and really committed to getting better. Nice, move up, move up. Got to get up, we have to get up there, we have to get up. We have to be get better here, fellas, let's go. High expectations and you're trying to keep standards high, but they've got a school, they've got full-time study, they've got, they've got teachers on the bucks all the time. Some of them got to travel, they've got a, some of them like cooking for themselves most nights. Good lift, good lift. Yeah, that's a nice ball, we've got to be quicker from the front. We've got to be quicker with the set. There's huge opportunity for, for those guys now. Um, there's huge opportunity in university rugby, in, in the championship, and with us. And yeah, they've 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 earned every every uh, every opportunity. Come on, fellas! I see one, two, three, four parked up here. Not influencing the game because we switched off. We can say it all we like in there, fellas. Doesn't make a difference if we don't do it out here. Stay square back house, or that happens. 
trying to pull out some of the positives tonight and get the energy up and uh, get them really looking forward to tomorrow. Fill the field, we're going to fill the field. Come on, Kit, come on, Kit. Why have we gone here to come back? So you want to hit the 15, don't you? Yes. So what's your chat then? On the 15, on the 15. We've got to manage these things better than we are now, fellas. We can always change to a kick cat or something, just to rather than use all the phases, if we get to the wider than the 15, someone step up and say, now we'll go kick cat, and then we can just, then we're reducing the phases with less risk. Uh, exiting properly, get it off the pitch, kick to compete, we actually look pretty decent. It's all right to run kick pass, but make sure we're doing it at the right time. Play what we see, but when we're, when, it, when we're in there, just make sure we're exiting correctly. Just keep that fucking energy, boys, for tomorrow. That's all it is, keep the energy up there. Awesome. 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 So we're doing a kicking contest uh, to see who kicks at the weekend or tomorrow. We're both like, well, I don't know, we're both, we're both the tens. same school. Yeah. Um, and you'll, you'll play 10 and I'll play 12 at school. Yeah. Uh, same as the half side, but this side. Fan. And he kicked at school, but just because of the Tigers, they just said, I'm starting 10, he's starting 12. So they're swap, swapping around. So we're seeing, we're both kickers, so we're just seeing who can, who's kicking. Really. And the score so far? Two, two all. all. After two. When we think about our nutrition keys, what are my five things? Remember, not the foods, we'll get to that, but what are my five things to eat for immunity? What are they? Okay, so that's a food. Think bigger. Omega 3, yeah, good. There's one. Omega 3 right now. Vitamin C, what are our vitamin C foods? Kiwi. Kiwi, citrus fruit, berries. Vitamin D, where are we getting that from? Sun, yeah, okay, England. Probiotics, yeah, what foods are we eating for that? That's the yakult, that's the yogurt one. And my final one. Does, you can get it from fish, but what is it? Fish oil. No. Nope. Zinc. Zinc, yes. Nice, Scott. Nice, Scott. Where are we getting zinc from? Fish. Fish, meats, eggs. And that's also fortified in our cereals. Okay? Pushing the limits, so don't get defended. I spend every minute to play a position to hand on my business so I can be living and killing whenever I'm handed the limit. I gotta continue to run on my own. It's making me live in the feeling my conscience for winning, but let me get alone. The pressure is taking a toll, and I don't even know how to get it to go. I'm trying to find a predicament leading me in my career. What's the focus here, Lynn? Control. That level of control, Lynn. Quite a few lads in wrong socks. Put your hands up. Who who did sock box last time? Keep your hands up. I'm back. Okay, so if you have ripped your socks or haven't got them or lost them, go and get a pair after training. Those but all the socks need to be right way around, in pairs, back in the box, okay? The, the socks thing is, um, obviously, um, kit is sort of currency in, in rugby, and certainly for these guys, so they have to earn what kit they get. So if they rip their socks or, or lose their socks, then they can't just expect another pair, um, which happens, look, they, they get ripped all the time. So um, it's just to make them uh, value what they've got a little bit. So they just get one, one set of kit and they've got to keep it and wash it and bring it back. And they certainly don't lose it. Uh, that's sort of not acceptable because they should value that it's sort of something that they've, yeah, they've earned and value it and it's got the badge on it, so it's important. So just little things like that. How can someone watch this?
if they if they rip the socks or or lose the socks then it's not just oh can I have another pair they've got to actually kind of do something back which um, just a little thing turning the socks all the way right way round for the first team putting them back nicely for them then they can uh, take a replacement pair so just making them uh, buy in a little bit and not just uh, get a handout really. <laughs> It's game day. The coaches have challenged the players to step up even more now as the stakes are getting higher and the game is being played under the lights of Welford Road. It's really hard to not get complacent because these boys are expectant now and, and the coaches are expectant that, that we'll win. It's, it's more about playing in the stadium, it presents different challenges. It's going to be interesting see who see who rises to it, see who is affected by it. Last time the academy played there, um, I was leading the team, uh, the opposition team there, in the sale. Being on the receiving end of that was really tough. Sale at the time were doing really well, and then Leicester just turned the screw and, uh, and won the game. But yeah, it's it's a phenomenal place. To be a tiger, every side that puts that Leicester shirt on, you expect to win. Last two seasons, we won the under 18 league and we are looking to do that every year. So these academy lads that have come through, they have to know to expect that they're coming into a winning side. They've got to be tough and they've got to be committed. They've got to have the, the physical ability or physical potential to play the game at the, at the top level. The academy start of that love for Leicester Tigers. When you come into the place and you start to realise what the shirt means, you start to recognise the opportunity you may have of playing at Welford Road. It's a um, very good experience and I said it's probably the first time you drop that seed in of what's expected of you as a Leicester Tigers player. Um, we want to see passion and pride in, in their performances and, and that's something that is non-negotiable. I think for those guys you can always accept losing as long as you're giving 100% and, and that's something that we like to see in our academy guys. Overall part is one thing, this is another you know, thing. We get the opportunity today for a lifetime for most of us, yeah? We can take that opportunity. Let's not get caught up in that, yeah? Play the game. Don't get caught up in the fucking occasion. Yeah, it's great, but play the game. Simple yeah. things, right? Do the basics right, we will win. Yeah? Simple. You'd be better than that opposite man. You yeah. can win today. Every single one of you be better than your opposite man, you're going to take the win. Do the letter on your back, do the number on your back, and we will win. Get your eyes up, get going. Let's go. First thing, don't get frustrated with the referee. Don't worry about what they're doing. And actually, just conjure up what we're doing, yes? Where are we absolutely dominant in the game? Well, no, no, no. Okay, where at the moment, where are we Where are we suffering? Are we getting loads of play from the referee? Okay, so let's think about how we play down that end. Think about how we are absolutely dominant over their line out. And let's get the little thing for us. There's too many times we've got the space out of and then we take a phase out with a or something. Yeah, let's just be really sharp. We've got a quick ball. Get it wide. Okay. Alright. Boys, let's go. 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 Let's go.
in the dirt Say it again, man, and that's a reverse Never rehearse, jumping in first Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse uh, This is absurd, take the berserk Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words You just won a game of golf the road. Look around you because honestly, for a lot of us, it might be the last time that we were here. So whatever we do now, just enjoy the moment. Look around you, so we have photos with people you care about and all of that. Enjoy yourselves, all right? Boys, I promise you'll remember today for the rest of your lives, boys. Playing at Wildford Road is a great honour. I promise you'll remember it forever. And it's good that we're all a little bit frustrated. That means we've got lots more growth. And near the end there, the boys that came on made a real good impact. So great to you and just enjoy it now, boys. Boys, you've won it off the road. Take the enjoyment. Well done. Um, they stand out as um, fantastic leaders. Um, they are so um, driven and so passionate about what they do. Uh, they're not just good players, they're really good young men. Um, that's really, to me, the, the mark of a, of a Leicester Tiger. After a tough second half against the battle-hardened Yorkshire men, it's another win. The academy players are growing in confidence and maturity every week. With scheduled matches against Worcester and Nottingham up next, and the hopes of a final looming, can the Leicester Academy remain unbeaten and go all the way again this season? Find out here next week, only on Rugby Pass.